okay so what's up guys i'm pixel sammy and i'm back with another new video so in this particular video we're going to learn how to use masking very efficiently in color grading now i'm going to show this particular method in final cut pro but you can use this particular method in premiere pro davinci after effects anywhere the concept remains the same so i am open in final cut pro and this is my timeline and as you can see it is a pretty simple video so it is pretty much more like properly exposed and all so first thing i'm going to go to the color grading panel and go to the color board i'm going to use the luma wave panel so i'm going to just click on command plus 7 to open the luma wave and then i'm going to readjust the saturation just a little bit as i think it is a little bit low exposure wise it is perfectly fine but i'm going to just brighten it up and add some contrast to it with the curves and all and then after that I'm going to just change the color of the green garden into a little bit yellowish kind of a tint. Just a little bit yellow. This should be properly enough. After that we are going to go to the main portion which is by using masking. Now first of all I'm going to just readjust some of the things more in the color wheels. After that just go to the main portion which is the color board and I'm going to go to the masking. I'm going to just reduce the size of the screen just a little bit so that I can mask very effectively and then go to the top panel and then click on add a shape mask and I'm going to turn the shape to rectangle but it's totally up to you which shape you choose and then put that particular mask on the sky portion. It may not be fully accurate it doesn't need to be but it can be more or less on the sky portion and then after that I'm going to just play with the exposure play with the colors just like this and as you can see it is selectively color grading those particular portion only and that is a really cool thing to have because if you want to just increase the exposure or increase the saturation for one particular portion the entire video will be overexposed or de desaturated or those kind of stuff so those particular areas masking is really effective and as you can see if i just drag the mask the other portions are getting affected too but i don't want to do that i want to just keep it at the skies only and play with the saturation and the exposure and the highlights a little bit and as you can see compared to the previous one it is giving a really different dimension to the entire video as you can see the color of the skies look really cool right now because i have added that particular mask now one more thing which you can do is you can change the color of the sky by using the same mask and then go to the hue and saturation curves and then change the color of the sky from there like in this case i want to change the color from yellow to magenta now it is totally up to you as you can see i don't like it that much but you can change the colors if you guys want to because in various cases sky colors may be affected by that as well and you can change the color if you guys want to so this is a very simple trick which you can use and you can use it not only for skies but for all the other places too and as i said you can do this on any editing software out there so this is a really cool and small and a pretty easy technique to color grade if you guys don't know this particular method i highly recommend you guys to check it out because this is one method which can take your videos a simple video to the next level just by selectively color grading one simple area one at a time so that is pretty much it i hope you guys like this particular video drop a like subscribe to this channel and peace out.